So popping up a level, what we can learn from the example that I just gave you with page fault service is in order to design a scalable operating system service and a parallel operating system, we have to think about what is the right recipe. For every subsystem that you want to design, first determine functionally what needs to be done for that service. Now, you've got parallel hardware, and therefore the functional part of that service can be executed in parallel in the different processors that are available. That's, that's the easy part. But in order to ensure concurrent execution of the service, you have to minimize the shared data structures. Only if you minimize the shared data structures will you really be able to execute the functional part of that service concurrently on the available processes. So less sharing will result in more scalable implementation of the service. Now the problem is it is easy to say avoid sharing data structures, but it is hard to practice because it is always not very clear how in designing the subsystem we can limit the amount of sharing of shared data structures. Now coming back to the example of the page fault service, the page table data structure that the operating system maintains on behalf of the process, it is a logically shared data structure. But if you want true concurrency for updating this data structure, it is inappropriate to have a single data structure that represents the page table for a process. Because if you have a single data structure that represents the page table for a process, in order to do the function of page fault service, you have to lock the data structure. That leads to a serial bottleneck. But at the same time, if we say, well, you know, let's take this page table data structure and replicate it on all the nodes of the multiprocessor, that probably is not also a very good idea because then the operating system has to worry about the consistency of the shared data structure copies that are existing on all the processes and making them up to date all the time and so on. So we can now quickly see what the dilemma is of the operating system designer. So as an operating system designer, we want the freedom to think logically about shared data structures. But later, depending on the usage of the data structure, we want to replicate or partition the data structure so that we can have less locking and more concurrency. That's the real trick. The trick is you want to think logically, yes, it's a shared data structure, but based on the usage, we want to replicate or partition the system data structures so that you have more concurrency and less locking for those shared data structures. So we'll keep this recipe and the principles we talked about in mind and talk about one particular service, namely the memory management subsystem, and how we can avoid serial bottlenecks using the techniques that is proposed in one of the papers that I've assigned to you for reading, which is called the tornado system. The key property is less sharing leads to more scalable design.